hello everyone welcome to altrix tutorials in this video we are going to talk about two very important tools of the transform tab these are the running total tool and the summarize tool so first of all let's start with the running total tool this tool is present in the transform tab in altrix and it is used to calculate a cumulative sum on a numeric field per record in a file it can also be used to create sums of groups of records and calculate the cumulative sums of multiple fields at the record or even at the group level. So uh, let us understand the usage of this running total tool with the help of an example. Right. So let me just first get my data using this input data tool which is present in the in out tab. Now let's just click on this drop down and get our excel sheet which is the consumer sheet. Click on OK. Now let's just grab this running total tool and bring it over here. Here we have two options that are present in this running total tool. In the configuration panel that is the group by field which is again optional. And the second option is the create running total field. So it helps us to create the numeric fields to create a running total. Basically to select the fields through which we want to create a running total. In your database, there might be different kinds of fields like the textual fields, the date fields or spatial object fields. But the running total tool will automatically fetch out the numerical fields and would give you only those fields on which it is applicable. Right. So these are all the numeric fields that are present in my data set. That's why it's showing the list of all of them. Right. Now, uh, what you want is you can just select the fields of whose running total you want. The new columns would be created and they would be added with a run total underscore prefix to show that this was the original record and this is the total that has been calculated by this particular tool. So let's just see how it is going to work. I want the uh, total of sales, quantity, discount and profit. These are the four values whose total I want. Next, what I can do is I can click on run. And wait for a few seconds till it has finished running this is how it's looking if i just click on this output tab over here or uh, using this anchor then i would be getting these uh, four columns running total underscore sales quantity discount and profit this means that this is the total values that have been calculated by this particular tool. If you go to the very last record, you would be, of course, getting the highest value or the total value of the sales, quantity, discount and profit. If you take a look on the profit values, then there is a point where these values are in negatives, which means I'm not getting a total profit. I am getting some of the loss from my sales. But slowly, if you see uh, the values have again converted them into the positives that means the total value is a profit or a loss that would be I getting for the last record so this is how the running total uh, tool works it is actually used to give you a summary of the numeric fields that i've been uh, working on next we have is the summarize tool now this is a really important tool in altrix and we are going to use it often whenever we are developing the workflows so let us understand it's working first of all it is used to perform the various actions, which could be the functions or the calculations on the data. It can uh, like return the sum of the column for the data, which is uh, basically calculated by adding all the rows in the column. It can return the minimum or the maximum value in the column. It can count the number of rows. It can group the column of a data by identical values. It can concatenate the string values. It can perform a variety of mathematical calculations and even perform spatial object processing. Now, uh, these are a variety of steps that are really important whenever we are working with the workflow, right? So let's just see some of the actions one by one to understand it. Let me just grab my summarize tool and connect it, connect my database. The database here I'm using is the Excel sheet for the consumer segment. Okay. Now here we have two things, the fields and the actions. The fields is basically the data fields that has been taken from the input data set along with its data type. Okay. Uh, now what we can do is we can just select some of the fields. And if you want to select multiple fields, you can just shift and click on them. 
like this okay or what you can do is control click them to select multiple fields um then we have is a select option which has different options like all which means it would select all the fields none it would deselect all the fields numeric it would select only the fields with the numeric data type string would select only the string fields and spatial would select only the fields with the spatial data types right so these are the kinds of the options that we could perform let me just select the numeric fields so you can see the row id sales quantity discount and profit have been selected next uh, what we are need to do is once you have selected the fields we come to this add option so uh, this add option is actually used to uh, just search for the action that we need to perform you just click on it here are the different options that could be performed we can find the minimum value the maximum value the sum count count non null count distinct count distinct non null count null group by first last and these are the number of the functions that could be applied like numeric functions string functions uh, spatial functions behavioral analysis and the report functions okay so if we just go to the numeric functions uh, here is the number of the functions that could be applied like average percentile median and mode so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select none and i'm going to show you the different functions that could be applied for each of the data types that is double string and uh, we don't have spatial data so let me just go with numeric and the string values only okay so first of all let's just select these four i'm ignoring the row id because that's uh, no need for that next what we can do is just go to this numeric fields and here select the percentile now uh, in the action field we have the fields the action side could be performed and what would be the name of the output field if you want to change the name of the output field that you can do if you want to change the action that also you can do for example in the case of sales i want the uh, max value in the case of quantity i want the percentile in the case of discount or in the case of discount i want percentile in the quantity again i want the minimum value and in the case of profit i want the sum okay so these are the four different actions that i want to perform on the different fields and once you have selected all of these things you can just simply click on run and wait for a few seconds let's just go to the output so it is giving me the maximum value of the sales the minimum quantity that was purchased was 1 the percentile discount is 0.2% and the total sum of the profit that i have taken is this much of the profit okay uh now the names of the columns have been named accordingly which means you can understand that what's what is going on in these right so uh, this is for the numeric values let me just copy this create a new workflow to show some of the functions for the string values as well okay here i can just paste them and for this tool i'm just going to make the changes by selecting the string values and what are uh, the uh, things that i could add is count null count not null so let me just give uh, go with a count if you want to delete any of these actions you can just simply select that action and click on minus select that action click on minus okay so this is what i'm going to go with that is the count in the case of category i want count distinct in the case of category uh, sub category also i want to count distinct in the case of segment i want count non null uh in the case of country i want count null and so on okay i have created a bunch of different actions uh in the case of customer id i want the longest okay now once i have selected all these operations i can click on run so it's going to take a few seconds and let us just go to this output to select the uh, to just see the values so first of all is count that would give me the count of order id next is count 2 that is giving me the count of the ship mode which is actually the total number of the records next is the longest customer id then the customer name uh, customer segment then count of the null in the country is zero that means there are no null values right similarly for the count distinct category there are three distinct categories that's why it's giving me the result as th uh, three similarly in the case of sub category it is counting it as 17 that are 17 distinct sub categories are present and finally we have the count of the product name so there are 5191 products that are available that means 
everyone has purchased some products so this is how the summarize tool works in the transform tab that's all for this video that's all for the tools for the transform tab and thanks for watching